All right, it's starting my day late as hell. It's like two o'clock. I woke up not too long ago because I was up until eight this morning. Um, I'm about to go to the park for a picnic. Yeah, I want to run to Urban Outfitters first, grab something, and then mall. I can't be a pessimist because I'm alive. To be a pessimist means that you have agreed that human life is an academic matter. So I'm forced to be an optimist. I'm forced to believe that we can survive whatever we must survive. But the Negro in this country, the future of the Negro in this country is precisely as bright or as dark as the future of the country. It is entirely up to the American people and our representatives. It is entirely up to the American people whether or not they're going to face and deal with and embrace this stranger whom they malign so long. What white people have to do is try to find out in their own hearts why it was necessary to have a nigger in the first place. Because I'm not a nigger. I'm a man. But if you think I'm a nigger, it means you need it. And the question you've got to ask yourself, the white population of this country has got to ask itself, north and south, because it's one country, and for a negro, there is no difference in the north and the south. There's just you no know, a difference in the way they in a way they castrate you. But that's but the fact of the castration is the American fact. If I'm not a nigger here, and you invented him, you the white people invented him, and you gotta find out why. Right into the park. Oh. All right, I'm headed to Griffin Park for a picnic, a little date or whatever. So I brought some mezcal and some like, um, Strawberry banana smoothie. Using the left lane, make a left turn on South Broadway. And we out big. Hope that. Hope y'all can hear Yeah, so this is the new setup I've like created. I got like the camera, the light. So I have to do a separate tripod. This is, so Stephanie does hair, Stephanie does hair and makeup, so this is like one of her beauty chairs. Um, I guess update, I'm about to start living here, basically. So Stephanie's not coming back from Hawaii. She's living her best life. So I'm gonna sublease her apartment starting this month, basically. And I'm finishing out my month, my last month in Venice. So my friend from New York is going to take over that spot, I think in like two weeks. And then she'll be there for two months. And then, yeah, so I'll just be living here for the next three months. Um, unless she doesn't come back at all, then I'll probably just stay here. And then if ever not, I've decided I wanna to try to get my own apartment. But yeah, so just for film and video, I can just be, you know, leave this setup here in the living room and just shoot all day. Like, it's just it's just an easier workflow for me, basically, um, than with the roommate situation, as much as I love Venice so much, like, that was the perfect place, and it still is. Um, but for me, it's like, I wanna do these videos, I wanna be editing, like, so I don't, the benefit of living by the beach, I think is not gonna be as good for me, versus like, um, damn, I got two cameras, but I don't know which one they're talking to, but whatever. Um, but yeah, so the benefit of living by the beach, I feel like it's not as good for me now, because I'd rather just be able to I get in front of this camera, you know what I'm saying? And like set this up and just versus like anything else. So yeah, actually I'm really, really excited about staying here. Like it's lit. I like downtown, like Stephanie's cutting me a deal. I'm not even, I'm paying less than I was paying in Venice. Yeah, I love her to death. Like this is sick, this place is nice. I'm close to everything. So yeah, so I'm gonna be living downtown basically. And I was, I've been watching the videos, I was watching the last few videos, and I don't know, I, I feel like they've been boring. <laughs> and like, 
I do like um, how much stuff I was getting in Venice, but it might just be because of what's happening and with the, you know what I mean? I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna try, listen, I'm gonna try my hardest to make the videos look good scenically versus just like whatever. But for me personally, as a, as a person working on the videos and creating and just whatever, just keeping my energy high and stuff like that, like this has been the fucking bomb. Like living alone, like this has been the fucking bomb. Like wow. <laughs> like wow. Um, so I'm excited about that energy coming from that place and then creating from there. I want every white person in this room who would be happy to be treated as this society in general treats our citizens, our black citizens. If you as a white person would be happy to receive the same treatment that our black citizens do in this society, we stand. says very plainly that you know what's happening you know you don't want it for you I want to know why you're so willing to accept it or to allow it to happen for others